Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. There have been about 4,224 versions of Microsoft Office uh, since it was first released to the world. Uh, I'm kidding. It hasn't been that many, but there has been quite a few. And of course, over the years, it has certainly evolved. Um, now, between Office 2000 and 2002, the upgrades were incremental. Between 2002 and 2003, again, relatively incremental upgrades. But between 2003 and the new version that's out now, 2007, there are some uh, massive things happening with the user experience, most of which were good, some of which people have perceived as bad, specifically in the menuing system that happens to exist within the new version of Office. They have completely eliminated the menus. Now, most people, when they want to do something, will go to the file menu or the edit menu or the help menu. Well, in most of the applications in Office 2007, namely Word, Excel, PowerPoint, so on and so forth, they don't have menus anymore. You can't get to the menus at all. Instead, they have something called the ribbon bar. And the ribbon bar is a smarter way of surfacing features that are available, sometimes contextually sensitive, meaning these features only show up when you're trying to do something, uh, versus you know general options when you're trying to do something general. Realize it doesn't make any sense, but the idea behind a ribbon bar is that you don't have to worry about trying to find the features you're looking for. You can find them more easily by flipping to a general tab, like for instance, inside of, well, let's open up Microsoft Word. So we'll type in WinWord. We'll launch Microsoft Word 2007, or as they call it, Office Word. They don't call it Microsoft Word anymore, I guess, uh, unless you're looking at the actual program and they, they call it Microsoft Word. Who knows, Microsoft, uh, even on the same team, can't even get their branding straight. So we've got, instead of a menuing system, we have these series of tabs. And on each one of these tabs, Home tab, Insert tab, Page layout, References, Mailings, Review, and View, there are different icons available at different sizes. So you think in general, what am I trying to do? Well, I'm trying to change the page layout. So I click over to the Page Layout tab, and I see these series of buttons in this ribbon bar. And from here, I can change things that are related to the page's layout. These are all the options that are available to me at this point in time inside of Microsoft Word or Office Word, depending on whatever Microsoft wants to call it and they can't make up their own mind. So the ribbon bar at first is really frustrating to people who are used to where things were in the old menuing system. And admittedly, I was a little taken aback by it as well. And I was thinking, wow, this is just kind of ugly and horrible. And you know, the more I got used to it, the more I said, wow, this is actually kind of nice. I like it. Uh, and so for people who are looking to replace the Office 2007 ribbon bar experience with the classic experience of menus, my suggestion is just take a little time, give it a, a bit, and I, I think you're going to appreciate everything that the ribbon bar is going to give you. Uh, now, a, a, as an admitted person who doesn't believe in desktop clutter or icons to a certain degree, um, that's something that held me back from wanting to use it. But the more I started experimenting and playing around, the more I realized it really was intuitive. Instead of features getting buried uh, in, in the traditional menuing system with options all over the map, the ribbon bar really makes it easier for you to use these programs. Because most of the features inside of Word and Excel and PowerPoint, you never know about because you can't find those features. So you don't know that you can access those features when you're doing things inside those various programs. That's where the ribbon bar comes in very, very uh, useful. We had a user, the reason why I even bring all this up in the first place, I am Duffy 15 came into the chat room earlier and says, does anybody know where you can get a free program to turn the ribbon bar in Office 07 back to normal buttons used in Office 2003? Uh, there is no free program available, but uh, you can Google the web uh, for anything like uh, Menu Office 2007, and you'll find a shareware program, $30, that will restore the classic menus into uh, Office 2007. But uh, I can't find a free version of it, $30. Is it worth paying for? Well, I guess if you're stuck in the mindset that you have to have menus, uh, 
but uh, Microsoft has already decided that they're going to let menus be uh, depreciated over time. Uh, the menuing system is still available throughout Vista in some places, and then in other places it's not available at all. So they've created a completely inconsistent experience for their users, uh, at least with the Office experience and the Windows experience. But I'm not surprised because Microsoft can't even name Word the same way between the splash screen and the actual program itself, which is something I just noticed two minutes ago when I launched uh, Word. Um, anyway, uh, my suggestion is try the ribbon bar. I was taken aback by it at first. I thought it was the worst decision Microsoft could have ever made, and now I am of the mindset that, yeah, it was a very smart decision, and it would be wise of you to explore the ribbon bar and its possibilities before giving up on it and trying to go back to the old menuing system. What about you? Uh, do you like the menu bar? Uh, do you like the ribbon bar? Do you like them both? Which one? do you Have you tried the ribbon bar for a while? Didn't like it? Did you like it after a while? Did you like it immediately? I'm curious to know everybody's opinions on this. Go ahead, leave a follow-up response, comment, whatnot. I'm always looking at every single response, which makes it really difficult to get every Thing done because we've gotten uh, or we've gotten a lot more comments as of late in, in a lot of the videos that we're doing and of course you can swing by the chat room if you don't want to leave a comment you can type into your chat box and let us know what you're thinking at that moment and get immediate feedback on your responses we're always available at oh as everybody's been saying here live.perillo.com <laughs>